Number 8. The Sandy Borg Massacre in 2018, in a coastal village known as Sandy Borg, archaeologists uncovered the bodies located in a stone ring fort on the shore of Aland Island, southeast of Sweden. About 250 people, adults as well as children, were found in what is now considered a cursed fort. At first, archaeologists found just one skeleton in the doorway of a house in 2010, but then there were 26 more bodies, each with the signs of a violent death, including sword, knife, and club marks. From the looks of it, whoever killed the people at Sandy Borg went from door to door executing anyone they ran into regardless of age. It was a complete massacre. From the remains of a teenage boy tripped backwards over another body to the remains of a man whose skull had sheep's teeth inside of it, which may have been an insult from the killers to shame him, each of the attacks were beyond brutal. In one house alone, there were nine murder victims. None of the skeletons had facial or defensive wounds, which made researchers believe they were ambushed and didn't have time to flee or really fight their attackers. The remains of meals and pots found by cooking fires also indicate the attacks were sudden. So what exactly happened here? The fort was located on the coast, so it's unlikely that the attack came from the sea. The high stone walls that surrounded it would have deterred curious pirates. Whoever conducted the massacre left behind all the jewelry, coinage, livestock, and other valuable items. This suggests that it was probably not a raid by bandits. All the weapons in town were missing, so it's very possible the massacre was politically motivated. 1,500 years ago, the world was a very turbulent place. The Western Roman Empire that had brought trade and stability to Europe for centuries had completely collapsed. The Huns were attacking from the east, and add to that hostility between local tribes, and you've got yourself a recipe for violence. Archaeologists hope to uncover more details about who killed all these people and why, but haven't been able to secure any more funding for the project. Number 7. The Dog Mummies of Peru It's no secret that people love their pets, but did you know even ancient people cherish their animal companions as much as we do now? Archaeologists working in Peru in 2006 had initially been excavating the remains of the Chiribaya people that once lived along the Osma River Valley, 540 miles southeast of Lima. However, when they did so, they unearthed 82 dog tombs and pet cemetery plots alongside the human tombs. The bodies of the dogs, or the Chiribaya shepherds, have been preserved in the desert sands for centuries. Before the rise of Peru's Inca Empire, around 900 to 1350 AD, a group of Chiribaya farmers made it a point to dedicate special tombs to dogs and puppies alongside their own graves. These canines were well known for their hunting abilities. Discovering the remains buried with blankets and food is a sign of respect and a thank you to the dogs for their contribution to the family. Interestingly, in 2012, an archaeologist found the remains of more than 100 dogs buried at the Lima Zoo, which shows that the practice was more widespread than initially thought. Some of the dogs were so well preserved they still had skin and hair. They were arranged in peaceful postures to look as they did when they were asleep and wrapped in elaborate textiles for burial. The belief in pre-Columbian Peruvian culture is that dogs escorted humans to the afterlife. The fact that these dogs were found buried alongside humans showed that they really were true companions and extremely important to these ancient people. It seems man's best friend has been our best friend since almost the beginning of all civilizations. Aww. Number 6. The Haunted Forest of Transylvania If you thought the scariest thing to come out of Transylvania was Count Dracula, you'd be wrong. Outside the city of Oyabaku, a forest known as The Clearing is said to be full of ghosts and bizarre paranormal phenomena. Even locals are too afraid to go in. Due to its consistent reports of strangeness, the forest got the charming nickname the Bermuda Triangle of Transylvania. It's said to be inhabited by the devil, ghosts, and even aliens. The forest became more popular in the 1960s, when biologist Alexander Sift took a picture of an object flying through the clouds above the forest. After this, other inexplicable events soon followed. A shepherd and his 200 sheep went missing and were never found again. A young girl vanished in the forest one day, only to reappear five years later wearing the same clothes and without having aged a day. There's numerous reports of people going into the forest and coming out with severe burns and rashes, nausea, high fever, and headaches. Studies revealed natural uranium present in the subsoil produces higher than usual radioactivity in the forest. 
Even the trees are mysterious here. They grow in a twisted spiral pattern and do so in a clockwise direction, making you wonder what kind of supernatural forces push them to bend that way. Most of the eerie paranormal activity seems to be concentrated in a particular spot. This area is completely free of any plant life and forms into a perfect circle. The soil in the circle was tested, but no anomalies were found that would prevent the growth of vegetation. The forest continues to be one of the best documented paranormal sites on the planet. Planet, and speculation continues as to whether Oyabaku is a portal to another world or possibly a never before seen parallel universe. Number 5. Leap Castle, Ireland Ireland is full of beautiful, crumbling castles with spooky paths, but one known as Leap Castle is definitely one of the creepiest. It is said to have a brutal history of revenge, rivalry, and power, playing pivotal roles in its turbulence. Entire battalions lost their lives, family members murdered by other family members. The fight for control over the manor made this castle into what it is now, and it comes as no surprise that this is Ireland's most haunted house. Built in the early 1500s, the castle was originally owned by the violent and deadly O'Carroll clan. The castle was passed from father to son for a few generations with multiple killings by rival families and even within their own family, underlining the beginning of the barbarous history. By the mid-1600s, Leap Castle came into the care of the Darby family, and as standard during the time, the castle's power was again passed down from father to son. After the Darby family, the Ryan family held the stronghold. Those who lived in the castle swore their allegiance to the British crown, with many of the Irish locals looking down upon their allegiance. An angry mob of locals even tried to burn the castle down in July of 1922. With so much bloodshed in one place, it seems that the castle was cursed. It comes as no surprise that there's been multiple reports of ghosts wandering the corridors and endless archways. One of the most haunting places on the grounds is the burnt-out shell of a chapel. One of the O'Carrolls, a priest at the time, was performing a mass when his brother killed him. After the castle was set on fire, the priest's house was a derelict ruin, but residents claim to have seen apparitions including one that walked in through one window and out another. Some say they've seen light streaming from the barren windows at night, and they see the spirit of the murdered priest lurking in a stairwell. The ghosts of two young girls have also been spotted in the main hall. Multiple other apparitions of murdered former residents on the grounds include one known as the Elemental, which is a chilling tale said to date back to the time of the Druids, when sorcery was used to protect the land on which Leap Castle was built. Even today, the family that privately owns the castle confirms the supernatural presence. Those brave souls interested in checking out Leap Castle can contact them for a private tour. Would you like to visit this spooky castle? Let me know in the comments below! And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We have lots of mysterious discoveries coming soon. Number 4. Panga Ya Saidi Cave Africa is widely believed to be the continent of our species' birth, but despite being home to the earliest signs of modern human behavior, early evidence of burials in Africa are scarce and often ambiguous, and very little is known about the origin and development of mortuary practices. But now all that is changing, due to the discovery archaeologists made of a child buried at the mouth of the Panga Ya Saidi cave site 78,000 years ago. In 2010, the massive cave complex was discovered on an escarpment that bordered a lowland tropical forest in a savanna of southern Africa. The cave is believed to be the oldest human burial site uncovered in the whole continent. The child's body was found buried at the entrance of the cave, but it would take until 2017 for the shallow circular pit featuring the delicate bones to be fully exposed. It required careful removal before they could be studied in a lab. After casting them in plaster, researchers found two teeth in the remains, confirming they belong to a three-year-old child. Astonishingly, the spine and ribs were well-preserved, suggesting it was an undisturbed burial and that the body decomposed in the pit where the rest of the bones were found. The body was discovered lying on its side with his knees drawn toward the chest, which researchers believe meant the body was tightly shrouded instead of simply placed there. The position of the child's head having collapsed into the pit showed that at one time he may have had a pillow, indicating that it was some some sort of funerary rite. This find not only offers insight to the origin and evolution of mortuary practices between humans in Africa, but also the similarities between the cultural practices of both Homo sapiens and Neanderthals. Number 3. The Lost City of Hunantunich 
The ruins of the ancient city of Hunan Tunich is one of Belize's most popular and most impressive Maya sites. It is located about 80 miles west of Belize city near the town of San Ignacio, bordering with Guatemala. The archaeological site is mostly known for its El Castillo, or the castle, which stands at 130 feet tall, making it the second tallest building in Belize. When thinking of haunted locations around the world, Belize probably isn't one of the places that come to mind. It's usually known for its unspoiled beauty and distinctive ecosystems not as a hotbed for the paranormal. However, the country is surprisingly overflowing with terrifying stories and sinister legends that have been passed on from generation to generation. Some of these legends include tales of ghostly apparitions with glowing red eyes, gorgeous but deadly women who will steal your heart and soul, and jungle gnomes with backward feet who will rip your thumbs off. Once upon a time, Hunan Tunich was a bustling city with a population of around 200,000. Abandoned by the Maya 1,000 years ago, and reclaimed by nature, it wasn't until the mid-1890s that it was discovered again by a villager who says that he saw the ghost of an ancient Mayan maiden. In 2016, archaeologists working at the site discovered a tomb located under one of the central buildings, believed to be that of a Maya ruler. The tomb is one of the largest ever found in Belize, and it contained the remains of an adult man in his 20s or early 30s. Inside the tomb, archaeologists also found obsidian knives, vases, jade beads, and the remnants of what is thought to be a jaguar or a deer. Astonishingly, the site has been undergoing excavations almost continuously since the 1890s, but it wasn't until recently that a tomb was found, so it was pretty exciting. Hunan Tunich, which means storm woman, still has more secrets to hold, evidenced by the discovery of a series of tablets inscribed with hieroglyphics. El Castillo was also covered in carved friezes, including a three-dimensional seated person that some believe may be the woman the villager stumbled upon when he initially discovered the site. With its central core measuring more than one square mile and six plazas that have 26 palaces and temples, Hunan Tunich is a stunning example and the lasting legacy of the mysterious Maya people. Number 2. The Plain of Jars A bizarre and creepy area in Laos, known as the Plain of Jars, has been puzzling scientists for years. A recent project between the government of Laos and Australian researchers is offering clues to the unsettling origin of just why this place is called what it's called. And well, it's because of the giant stone urns that were found there. In fact, 90 different clustered groups of these stone jars, numbering from just a few to more than 400 in each group, were discovered. The heaviest of the stone jars found was carved from a single piece of sandstone and estimated to weigh around 30 tons. The site has been off-limits for most of the 20th century because the Ho Chi Minh Trail, which runs through the area, was littered with cluster bombs and craters that destroyed some of the jars. And it's dangerous. Over the last decade, international projects have worked to clear the dangerous explosives from several sections, allowing researchers to survey the historical site. In just the short amount of time that excavations were resumed, archaeologists have made some very important discoveries. Human remains estimated to be about 2,500 years old. This new evidence supports the previous theory put forth by researchers in the 1930s that the jars were a type of crematory, where bodies were left to decompose before being removed and buried in solid ground. Lia Genovese, a researcher at Tamasat University in Thailand, says the skeletons uncovered in this new work attest to the cemetery function, but the mystery still remains as to the function of the stone jars. She points out that before the new excavations, two skulls, four long bones, and ten bone fragments were already found. It was already showing signs of being a very important site. There weren't any sacred artifacts buried with the bodies, so the status of the individuals and where they came from is still unclear. Further excavations and genetic analysis of the remains may take several years. This work is just the first step in establishing the true purpose of the site. Number 1. The Haunting Canals of Russia in northwest Russia, the White Sea Baltic Canal has a chilling history. The first large construction projects in the area, the waterway was built by using forced labor of gulag inmates, labor camps made in the Soviet Union from the 30s to 1955. Joseph Stalin, the Russian dictator, wanted to prove that the country was an industrialized nation and ended up rushing the canal to completion. It was built over a staggering timeline of only 20 months, but it took a toll on those forced to work there with between 12,000 to 25,000 people dying in the process. However, contemporary historians now believe there may have been as many as 250,000 people who died while creating the canal. 
While the government tried to portray the gulags as reformatory, the harsh treatment meant that the workers, most being prisoners, had to dig up the canal with primitive hand tools that were inappropriate for the task. The official mortality rate of those working on the canal is close to 10 percent, with most becoming ill from working long hours in below freezing temperatures. Many said that those that died were thrown into the ditch running along the canal in unmarked graves. Opening in August 1933, the canal runs for 141 miles and was considered an important route for trade, allowing transit to be made between the White Sea and the Arctic Ocean. But because Stalin wanted the canal to be finished on time, many corners were cut, with the shallow draft of the canal making most vessels unable to use it. Today, the canal sees very few cargo ships. Most of the boats that travel along the canal belong to tour groups who may not even know about its terrible past. With only two small memorials to the Gulag's victims found along the route, it's clear to see that the Russians still try to keep the brutal treatment of those forced to work there a secret. Another canal located in St. Petersburg, the Obvodny Canal, has an equally chilling history that started back in the 13th century, when Swedish knights murdered the women of a small local tribe on the grounds. The shaman of the tribe later cursed the knights, but after killing the shaman and burying him alongside the women, the ground seemed to take on the curse. Centuries later, clusters of suicides occur in the canal every 10 years, with parents now forbidding their children from going near it for fear that if they stare down into the dark, dirty water, they too may fall victim to the eerie atmosphere of this cursed place. Thanks for watching! Would you ever visit any of these creepy historical places? Let me know in the comments below! And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already! See you next time! Bye!